grandfather, Eduard, CEO of the Climate Investment Fund, one of the world's largest funds for climate action in developing countries. I'm a proud citizen of the world, uh, overseeing investments in clean energy and resilience at the cutting edge of climate action in more than 70 developing countries. And I do what I do because I'm a mother who wants a better future for my children and yours. Respecting our natural resources and relying on clean energy is actually core to that mission. I'm here because I know that that world is possible, but only if we support the clean aspirations of developing countries and make gender equality a cornerstone of climate action. We have to approach women's empowerment not as a mere nice to have, but what it actually is, a must have for any solution to the climate crisis. We must invest in women's leadership like our future depends on it, because it actually does. That means a seat at the table when decisions are being made, and it is also about equal access to services, resources, and the jobs of the future. Leaving no one behind means moving everyone forward. I'm inspired by many women showing up and stepping up for our planet every day. Women like Aditi, a female engineer at the world's largest solar park in India, whom I've met. And this solar park is helping communities in India power their homes and economies with reliable clean energy. I'm proud to be part of this global community of women pioneers in climate and energy. And I hope our example can inspire girls everywhere to find a leader in themselves, to leave their mark in this sector and make the world a better place.